Hey y'all, what is up everybody? What is up YouTube, YouTube? Sparky Marky Mark here and I'm back to do a review and unboxing of a certain item. If you see the title, you know, you darn, or the photo, you know darn well what it is. So anyways, it's from IFC. Hmm. Scottsdale, Arizona. Wait a minute, is... Oh, it's finally here. <clears throat> I have ordered this item right before St. Patrick's Day. Got a coupon from the from the site Arizona Fine Time. And I gotta say, hands down, Arizona Fine Time, if you're listening to this, man, A plus on the packaging, A plus on everything. It took a while to get here. Majesty, Majesty, is this? <gasps> yes, it is! <gasps> yes! G Shock 40th anniversary! Woo wee! Look at it, baby! Happy 40, happy 40th anniversary to G-Shock. So enough chit-chat dudes and dudettes. Let's go see this item in the man cave. Like now, y'all. All right, before we get to the unboxing of the anniversary piece, um, there's still more squares going on. I'm sorry about the last video that was over 98 minutes. Um, that was over 98 minutes. And on four, yeah. I talk about the squares over the many years until 2009. Yeah, sorry about that long. But if you can skip until an hour and 17 minutes, there you get to the there you get to 2009. So yeah, with this one, we're talking about the squares, and this is part of the Mudmaster line. Well, <laughs> it doesn't say Mudmaster, but this is a G. This is a GX 56. And if you could tell, if it had the multiband, it would might as well be a, it will be a, what do you call it? A Japanese domestic market release version. This is the US version. All right, and here's a collaboration with Mickey Mouse, which I did a review and unboxing for that. Check that video out on my channel, or I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Uh, this model is a, um, uh, what is it? Um, G I mean, a DW5600 VT 30th Anniversary Tokyo Disney Resort box display. Yeah, Tokyo Resort. <laughs> In collaboration with Mickey Mouse. So check that video out, folks. And then here's another variation of the GX. This is the GX56-1B. The face is gold. The letterings are gold. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep going more and more. If anybody likes Predators, let me know in the description box. And other cool films. Okay, get to the 5600s, <laughs> the squares. More of the variations of the GX56. You got some from Japan. You got some from, you got one from Japan. Not some, you got some from the USA. Here's the purple and black, DGK, Dirty Ghetto Kids, Army Colors. Here's the Japan version, the black and blue. All right, getting more, getting more, getting more. We gotta get to the squares. A GLS 5600 KL-1 DR. Very wicked. Released in September 30th of 2010. And here's the DGK Dirty Ghetto Kids version. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And what else? Keep it going, going to find more squares. Here's a variation of the GX56, GXW56 that is. This is the one from Japan. Kind of rare now. Okay, still looking for more squares, you see? Hmm. And these are known as the King G-Sharks, by the way, the big one. GX56-GB-1. Keep it going all the way, keep it going all the way. 
man, that's a lot of stuff right here, y'all. Here's another variation released on November 17 of 2010. GXW 56, GXW 56 dash 56 KG dash three. Army color, great rad right there. Here's one from April 20th of 2012, three days before my 21st birthday. It, this is part of the Breezy Color Editions. This one is the, the DW5600SN-1. Blue, blue around, negative display, black watch. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, a couple squares. Okay, these are the sol. This is the solar version. This is a G GWM fifty six ten B dash one J F. Green dis green letterings, green sort of positive display. Mm -hmm. Here's a GWM fifty six ten dash one positive display version. Pretty cool in its own way. And here is part of the Bluetooth series. This is a G-Shark GB5600AA-1A Bluetooth. It can, can synchronize with your phones. So these were like up, outdated, up big time in that period in 2012. All right, keep it going more. More squares to come, folks. Oh, here's one. Here's another variation. Yes, it's Bluetooth. GB5600AA-1JF. This is the Japanese domestic market version. Alrighty. Here's one in 20, around April 2013, celebrating its... 30th anniversary. This is the DW56, DW50, oh no, wait, DW5030-1CJR. I did a review on this along with the 30th anniversary yellow frogman. This is the copper bronze version, I believe. And again, it celebrated its 30th anniversary and it was a wacky, and it was a, a wicked year. I'm gonna say, yeah, a little whacked a year though. Here's the Medicom DW5600 MT. This is the bare brick version. It comes in the, the case, the shape of a bare brick. That's part of Japan icon. Here's the um, the G set of the DW5030-1JR and the DW5030. Hmm. Here's a DW5600 and a DW5030. This would be the D. This would be the regular version. These are part of Project Team Tough. Comes in a cool box with a G-Shock man figure. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here's the, here's how it looks on the packaging on the bare brick. Very cool packaging. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, these two are the specials, which are from the box. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Hmm.
And here are these two Bluetooths. Here's one with a negative display with gold characters. Um, uh, GB 5600 B-1 BDR. And the blue version, which is the GB 5600 B-2JF, both released on October 29th of 2013. And here is a gold version of the DW5600E. This is the DW5600E G-9. And you can tell, yep, the, the, the display is positive, yes. And gold. Gold buttons, and you got a gold buckle. Pretty rad. And here is a DW5600BB-1ER released on March 18 of 2014. All black, silver buttons, negative display, very cool, cool black face, amazing, terrific, pretty cool, pretty cool. And here is a DW5600, a DW fit I me. Mean, this is a GLX 5600C-2ER G light. Now, if you see here, the skeleton is blue, and at least on April twenty first of twenty April twenty first of twenty fourteen. And as you can see here, the whole body itself is skeletonized. You can see right through. It's a jelly feel kind of watch. Pretty cool and very rad as well. Pretty cool as well. And this is a GLX 5600C-1. Released on April 28th of 2014. Look at it very, very carefully, folks. Alrighty. Here is the 5600MP-1A, released on February 15 of 2015, and this is part of the polarized marble edition. Marble, if you know those um, little round things with stuff on it, if you catch my drift. And here is a DW5600P-4ER, uh, red, positive display, and it has bull bars. Released on March 18th of 2015. Here is a DW5600P-9. This is a yellow version, positive display, and comes with a bull bar. Looking badass right there. March 19th of 2015. Here's also a DW5600 uh, GWM5610TR-7JF Tricolor Editions. Tricolor Edition. See that right there? And also here is a 5600SL-7. Uh, White watch, negative display, released on May, tw May 21st, 2015, while the tricolor was released at the same time, May 6th of 2015. And then you have some of these, what do you call it, GLX editions of the G Lides. Um, the GLX 56F 1D, GLX 5600F 2D. 3D on the red and 4D on the gray white, the gray or white version. You can tell the difference. All four released on June 12 of 2015. And this particular released on October 21st of 2015.
the 21st of 2015 on October, the DWD 5600BW-7JF. As you can see, look at it carefully, folks. And here is part of the Elite Edition, which is the, um, released on February 24th of 2016, the GLX 56 fat 3 FET 3-2 G Lide Elis at least uh, I did a review on this piece. Very good watch. Very in collaboration. Pretty cool. And this particular one was released one day before my birthday on April 22nd, 2016. And this one is a DW5600WB-B B, DW uh -huh. DW5600B-7. Here's a... And here's the GW5600... 5610... Uh, the GW... The GMW... No, GWM5610LY-1. Uh, part of the y Lemon edition, if you can tell. Hmm? Green, little blue, and black with negative display, and it's a solar atomic version. There's no straight battery power version, unfortunately, so yeah. Oh well, too bad. And here's a G Shock Mickey Mouse collaboration. Can't even tell what model, but it is a 5600. And here is a GXW 56BB-1JF, all blacked out version, released on August 19 of 2016. Right around the same time as the films like War Dogs and the updated version of Ben-Hur. And this is a, a UK poster for the film Takedown, but it's actually the US title for Billionaire Ransom. Which indeed has the feel of The Great Escape meets Die Hard and Toy Soldiers in some in a vibe sort of matter. And sort of like commando feel. So yeah. If you can see a full movie on this on YouTube or get yourself a copy. Your choice, folks. Alright. This, these next ones are are released around November 2016, November 10th, that is. Here's a DW5600HR-1JF. And this one is very rare after it's sold out very, very well. This is a GW5000HR-1JF. It has a stainless steel case screw back, and it's solar atomic. Multiband 6. And here's a Huff edition. This is known as the the DW fifty six hundred Huff dash one. And this is part of the Huff Apparel. If anybody knows Huff Apparel, I'll get on to a review on that another day. So yeah, Huff Apparel. It's a clothing brand based on um, L.A. or New York, Los Angeles or New York. So yeah, I'll get to that another day. Here is part of the yellow black edition known as the GWM 5610BY-1, released on June 13 of 2017. While the Huff was well, the Huff edition was released on June 12 of 2017. And here it released on June 23rd of 2017 is the DW5600DC-2. Looks like a pair of jeans in a way, because look at it. It does look like a pair of jeans, <laughs> but pretty cool. And here is a DW5600DE-2 released on August 7th of 2017. And we go way further that, huh. again, a lot of anniversary pieces were released at that point. Alrighty, this other square is part of the 35th anniversary. 
Released on October 11th of 2017, this is the GW5035A-1JR, and this is the Matte Black series. If you can look at it carefully, folks. In another video, I'm going to post about this and talk about it. Ignore that, folks. It's just a little bit on the redesigning the floor. It's not the whole floor. It's just one part of the floor, and that's it. Ignore that, folks. And this next particular one was released on November 1st of 2017. This is the DW5600PGW-7, the Peg Leg X collaboration. If you could tell correctly, yeah, Paris and Tokyo. I believe this is like a fashion brand name that's in collaboration. I could have sworn Peg Leg, Pig Leg, <laughs> Peg Leg, if you can see there. Uh, hold on a second. There. Pause that very carefully, by the way. So, you, so yeah, when I heard the name Peg Leg, I thought this was a circus collaboration. But it's a clothing type of, um, of a watch. And if I could look in here, zoomingly. Huh, right timing. Hmm. And you can see here, Paris and Tokyo. And here's another one released on November 2nd of 2017. This is the DW56. This is the DW56PGB-1, the Peg Leg X collaboration. This is a uh, black and white version, same like to the other one. Uh, these next four that you're going to see, this is part of the the throwback editions. This pink and blue and yellow version is known as the DW5600 TB-4BJF. Uh, mm -hmm. This particular one is the TB-4A, red and white. Turquoise and purple, TB-6DR, TB-1D, yellow and black. All four released on November on November 16 of 2017. These are known as the throwback editions. So, please, folks, pay attention carefully. So this particular red G-Shock is released on January 19th of 2017, and it's the 56, the 5635C-4, part of the Red Out edition for G-Shock's 35th anniversary. Alrighty, and this one is a full metal, is a full gold G-Shock, GMW56, uh, GMW5000TG-9JR, full metal gold, celebrating G-Shock's 35th birthday. And, and then, okay, so this one was released on April 21st, same thing as this one, April 21st of 2018. And this is a GMW B B five thousand T C dash one A L dash one A that is sorry DLC if you heard it, know what DLC means diamond like carbon coatings diamond like coatings is what it is and here is part of the K O L O R the co color edition this is. The GMW B5000 KL-9. Dash KL-9. Color. April 21st of 2018. Two days before my 27th birthday. Before my 27th birthday, that is. Oh, 
Alrighty. And oh yeah, here's a couple more. This is the GMW 5000-1ER. All right, and this one will, and this one of course GMW B5000 1JF full metal, stainless steel silver, negative po positive display, stainless steel case screw back. So these particular ones again, April 21st of 2018. And for the 35th anniversary for G-Shock, this square. Now this one is known as the DW. 5035-1B Origin Gold. Mm -hmm. This is where it started and it has the name Project Team Tough. That's right. And we got a few and we got two more squares released on June 8th of 2018. This is the DW 5600 BB mb-1 metallic mirror face that is and here is the bb ma-1 black and gold and then silver black and silver these next two were released on june 29th of 2018 this is the Neon Rasta edition of the DW5600 MA-9, DW5600C MA-9, and this is the CMB-1. Both, yep, both of them were Rastas. Uh, sorry for that noise again, folks. All right, I didn't know that was going to go down today. <clears throat> And here is the new era, DW5600 NE-1 New Era Edition, released on July 23rd of 2018. And what's next? And here is part of the clear version, released on September 8th, September 6th of 2018. This is a DW5035E-7JR Glacier Gold, that is, Skeleton Gold. Mm -hmm. Looks a bit icy, don't you think? And, here's a couple, and here are these two released on September 18 of 2018. This is the GMW56, GMWB. 5000 GD 1 ER, all black negative display ion. Look at that. And here is the uh, the Bling Master, I believe. <laughs> GMWB 5000 GD 9. Oh, wait, this is part of Bluetooth, I believe. Here is it, and here's and here are these few released on October of 2018. This one was on October 5th of 2018, and it's a Bluetooth model GWB 5600 BC 2ER, BC 1ER, and then BC 1B. And this one has those uh, the links, what do you call them? I forgot what was the name of the of these. This one has a regular strap. These have the. Uh, I forgot what these were, but these have cool buckles, like metal type. Very cool. And this next one is part of the hundreds. You got your red, yellow, and black. And this is the DW fifty six hundred HDR the hundreds. Released on November 18th of 20, released on November 9th of 2018, that is. Look at it very carefully. This next one I'm pretty sure you're familiar with, and it's the GWB 5600 FB 4JR, part of the Kobe City Fire Bureau edition. 
released on December 7th of 2018. And this one here is part of the Seven Angels edition. Actually, <laughs> part of the Seven Lucky Gods, that is. This is one, this particular one is the G, the, the GX56 SLG. The SLG, you already know what it means, Seven Lucky Gods. Mm -hmm. Released on January 30th of 2019, that is. January, thir January 30th of 2019. Sorry about that, folks. My uh, voice is a little dry. January January 30th, 2019. You got that? So here it is. <clears throat> and this other one is part of the Bluetooth series Multiband 6. GWB5600HR-1 Heritage Bluetooth. Released on February 5th of 2019. And here's another Bluetooth edition, but this one is the GW GMW B5000 TCM 1JR Titanium Camouflage Pattern Edition. Released on November 6th of 2019. And here's a different one, titanium, and this one is the GMW GMWB B5000 TB-1 titanium, released on November 8th of 2019. Pretty rad, pretty rad, pretty cool. And plus here is a, um, a baby G version of the Pokemon collaboration. This is Baby G in collaboration with Pokemon around the same time as Pokemon Detective Pikachu was released. Around the time of its 25th anniversary. I don't even know if Pokemon was first released in Japan at that time in 1994. I'm not so sure that it, that did, did exist. No, Baby G was around the early 90s. And this particular one was released on... Let's see here, November 27th of 2019. Mm -hmm. November 27th, y'all. Alrighty, the next one would be a, kind of like a Tron look. This one is a G GMW B5000 CS-1DR tunnel, AKA the Tron, cause you see here the patterns everything about it it feels like from the movie tron or its sequel tron legacy from 2010. Mm -hmm. all right so this particular one was released on june 12th of 2020. and it's pretty cool all right and this particular one is a GMW B5000 TCF-2 Titanium with Blue IP Camouflage. And it's part of the Camo Pattern Edition. You can see it very carefully. And another particular square, well, this is a square, but it's part of the MRG series, and both of them was released on March 1st of 2022. So this particular one is the, um, what do you call it? The MRG B5000B-1 DLC diamond-like carbon coatings. And here's another one. Uh, B5000D-1, this is the silver version. Here is also a blue and black version. And it's the, um, the B, uh, B5000BA-1, titanium.
And here's the one that was released on Veterans Day of 2022, the DW5600 SMB-4, in collaboration with the Super Mario Brothers. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Anybody fan of Mario's, Mario Brothers, let me know in the description box down below. And what about the movies and the shows? Tell me about it. Alrighty. So with all that out of the way, folks. And if you like, and, on, and that's all the squares, by the way. That's all there is, folks. So if you like content like this, click the bell on the subscribe button to be notified of all new uploads. Like the vids. Share the vids. If you have any opinions as well, comment down below. So yeah, folks. One up, chit chat. Let's get to the unboxing and see the piece. Like now. Here it is, folks. The DW5040 PG-1. And it's got the 40th anniversary, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look inside. Amazing, pretty cool. Okay, very awesome. And yeah, look at that, folks. Warranty card. Very important. Manual. Whoa. Three module numbers. 3229, 3421, 3489. Wonder why is it number nine? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. And then whoa what do we got here and instructions to open this one and two two and one all right open and close okay i get you Let's see how it is and whoa letter g baby oh yeah you gotta be careful so it's one okay let me see that instruction Okay, so well, we put these two down. Okay. Very extreme. It feels like cardboard, a little sturdy, but yeah, at the same time, it's a little cardboard sturdy. S T U, I mean, S T R U D Y, sturdy. Hmm. Very protective, very good. Good call on this. Woo, wee, what do we got in here? Okay, good sleeves. Uh-huh. Here it is, here it is. Amazing, amazing. And in this video, you're gonna see it glow in the dark, but beautiful, beautifully. Mm-hmm. And it has, of course, direct DNA from five years ago, and then you have 10 years ago with two anniversary pieces. One of them was the Project Team Tough, and then the standard 5030th anniversary. And, of course, DNA from the previous squares that have come to this point. But it maintained its DNA from 1983, judging because of the display and the look. Too bad I can't get my hands on the OG, on the original. And it has the band that you find in your nowadays 5600s. And look at that, folks. Oh, wait, let's take a look at the buckle. Woo, yes, it's gold, baby. Casio Japan on the buckle. Pause it very carefully, ladies and germs. Yep, Casio Japan on the buckle. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 3421 module number. 40th anniversary logo, stainless steel case, screw back, baby. And it weighs, yo. It's like a tank. Mm hmm. Here it is. But I got this at Arizona Fine Time. I got it with a coupon the day before St. Patrick's Day. And I waited like about a month or two. But then it just arrived recent, like about, say, around May. But I haven't got a chance to do it. But. Yeah, it came around May and I finally got it. Holy shit. Yeah, it took time, Arizona fine time. Mm 
gold buttons, gold screws, gold uh, bronze stainless steel case screw back, and gold keepers. Four stars since 1983. Wow. And we've been getting film G shocks in film. Mm -hmm. Just admire it, boys and girls. Just admire it. All right, let's take a look at the modules. You got your alarm. You got a vibrate and an alarm and an alarm logo right there. That's it. And my personal, personal favorite is the timer. And it has that right there. Let me see if this does the split. Oh, it doesn't split. So you just like hold it and then stop it. All right, to reset, you press here on the adjust button. Well, that's it. Let's see if this has a screen split thing or a test mode, whatever you, whatever anyone likes to call it. Okay, here. Uh... Oh, no, it doesn't do the test screen thing. Oh, well. Well, just admire it, boys and girls, because dudes and dudettes, boys and girls of the world. Because seriously, this is indeed amazing piece to represent 40 years of G-Shock. And besides, the, it is a positive display, and the face of it is gold, baby. Gold all the way. Alrighty. So yeah, man. To those who have the the rarest one, the the five thousand, shouts to you guys. Well, at least they make every year they make comebacks, in different style and look. Alrighty. With all out of the way, folks, let's take a look. I mean. Let's say what? Mm -mm. Let's play music to represent 1983 with milk music. It has to be 2023. Let's play the music and to celebrate G Shock's 40th birthday, like now. All right, and now today is the correct date, except one little problem. We're not on a Thursday. Hmm. I want to fix that in a moment. So with that, let's play a little music from 1983. Did I say 83? Nah. <laughs> Dudes and dudettes, ignore that part, folks. We're playing a song from 2023. What am I saying, 1983? Even though I'm this is a piece from that era, but um, it has the DNA and everything. So with that, let's play a little song from Yola Tango with their hit song, Fallout. Enjoy, folks.
That was Yola Tango with her hit song Fallout. So yeah, if you like more content like this, click the bell and the subscribe button to be notified of all new uploads. Like the vids, share the vids, and give it a thumbs up. And any opinions, comments down below. So yeah, also I'm in the YouTube community. I often post what time I leave, what time I post videos, and what time do I usually post videos, and let you know the timing so you can check it out on time. And as well as early updates on certain items, like say pre-order products from certain websites for autographs and such. So yeah, let's give a show to the watch collectors, the physical media collectors, the toy collectors, and all you collectors out there. And among other things. So y'all, this is Sparky Marky Mark, signing off y'all. Take care, God bless you, hear you, and see you on the next vid. Enjoy Wednesday y'all, and later.